Welcome to another of the transformation series. In this series, we're going to talk about being alone. And what comes naturally is to extrapolate that to the idea of being lonely. When was the last time you actually went for a walk on your own? Maybe not that long ago. When was the last time you actually stayed somewhere foreign, somewhere completely unknown to you before this and stayed overnight alone? When was the last time you actually had that experience in the middle of the bush or the wilderness, in the middle of nature, alone? Can you imagine driving along a highway for hours upon hours, pulling over, walking a couple of hundred metres off the road into the bush, laying out your swag? Can you imagine walking for hours and hours and hours and finding that place in the middle of nowhere, maybe an overhanging sandstone rock, a little bit of shelter, starting a little fire, having a sip of water, slowing down and actually taking it all in, feeling what this place feels like, feeling alone, completely alone. When was the last time you gave yourself the opportunity to feel completely alone? When was the last time you gave yourself the opportunity to be completely alone? And I know there's so many of you saying, oh my God, what I would give to be completely alone. Well, what you have to do is you have to give that to yourself. We're so good at working. We're so good at you know, making enough work to make enough money, usually barely enough and too much, too much work, barely enough money. We're so much, we're so good at meeting the needs of our immediate family, you know, relatively of course, but as a priority. We're so good at saying, yeah, I'll do anything for you, even if it's the last thing we really have the energy for, nor the desire to each other in our relationships and for our kids. Yeah, it's as valid as it gets. You can't you can't argue it. But to add an extra layer to the argument, add an extra layer to the to the proposition is are you giving any priority, any value for giving to yourself? Alone. Alone time. So such an important part of transforming, such an important part of learning how to be happy and peaceful is learning to be by yourself. And that might just mean finding five minutes, three times a day, 15 minutes maybe at the beginning of the day before you start getting straight into everything else to be alone. And being alone, in my mind, and what I'm advocating for is also about being still being calm or at least being with yourself being with your thoughts as opposed to letting your mind race into the you know, numerous fractals of direction that are just like a circus proving nothing not even entertaining no, no purpose no no result no solutions it's pointless you know, it's great, this mind, for communicating and for innovating, but that's not what's happening 99% of the time. So give yourself that time alone, specifically for finding yourself, finding the purpose, living to the purpose of becoming comfortable with yourself. And that alone time, when you're able to stave off the loneliness and the graspings of needing to bring in distractions or others or comfort or security, that alone time, it's just one of the most important ingredients to finding yourself transforming towards becoming happier and more peaceful. It's becoming comfortable with yourself. It's becoming at one with yourself, knowing who you are, knowing that these feelings that you've had for however long it may be, perhaps forever, are yours. And then as soon as you become comfortable with them, you no longer have to feel so encumbered by them, getting comfortable to be 
on your own is so important for this transformation. I encourage you all to go out there and give it a go. Practice it. It's imperative.